Abu Simbel is the most famous in all of Egypt after the Giza pyramids. Abu Simbel is a historic site comprising two massive rock-cut temples in the village of Abu Simbel. It is located on the western bank of Lake Nasser, about 260 kilometers southwest of Aswan, Upper Egypt, near the border with Sudan. Built by the greatest of the pharaohs, Ramesses II, these huge rock-cut temples mark the southern boundary of the Egyptian empire with Nubia at the peak of its power during the New Kingdom in the 13th century BC. Abu Simbel was erected to demonstrate the might of the Egyptian empire and for the eternal glorification of Ramesses II. The great temple at Abu Simbel was dedicated to the gods Amun, Rahorakti, and Patar, as well as to the deified Rameses himself. It is generally considered the grandest and most beautiful temple in Egypt. The facade is 33m high and 38m wide. It carries a frieze depicting 22 baboons worshipping the rising sun with upraised arms. The entrance doorway itself is surmounted by bas-relief images of the king worshipping the falcon-headed Ra Horakti, whose statue stands in a large niche. Ra holds the hieroglyph user and a feather in his right hand, with Mat, the goddess of truth and justice, in his left, this is a cryptogram for Ramesses II's throne name, user Matri. Guarding the entrance, three of the four famous colossal 20M statues stare out across the water into eternity, the inner left statue collapsed in antiquity and its upper body still lies on the ground. Each statue representing Ramesses II, seated on a throne and wearing the double crown of Upper and Lower Egypt. Next to Ramesses's legs are a number of smaller statues, none higher than the knees of the pharaoh, depicting, his wife, Nefertari, his queen mother Muttui his son Amun Hekepeshef and his daughters, Bintanath, Bakitmut, Meritarmen, Nebetawi, and Isetnefret. The hyperstyle hall is supported by eight huge Osiris pillars depicting the deified Ramesses linked to the god Osiris, the god of afterlife and resurrection, to indicate the everlasting nature of the pharaoh. <laughs> The bas-reliefs on the walls of the pronouns depict battle scenes in the military campaigns that Ramesses waged. Much of the sculpture is given to the Battle of Kadesh in Syria, in which the Egyptian king fought against the Hittites. The most famous relief shows the king on his chariot shooting arrows against his fleeing enemies, who are being taken prisoner. Other scenes show Egyptian victories in Libya and Nubia. <laughs> Thank you.
The second pillared hall gives access to the sanctuary. Here, on a black wall, are rock-cut sculptures of four seated figures, Rahorakti, the deified king Rameses, and the gods Amun-Ra and Parta. Rahorakti, Amun-Ra and Parta were the main divinities in that period and their cult centers were at Heliopolis, Thebes and Memphis respectively. It is believed that the axis of the temple was positioned by the ancient Egyptian architects in such a way that on October 22 and February 22, the rays of the sun would penetrate the sanctuary and illuminate the sculptures on the back wall, except for the statue of Patar, a god connected with the realm of the dead, who always remained in the dark. These dates are allegedly the king's birthday and coronation day, respectively. People gather at Abu Simbel on these days to witness this. The small temple was built about 100 m northeast of the Temple of Rameses II and was dedicated to the goddess Atha and Nefertari. The rock-cut facade is decorated with statues, more than 10 m high, of the king and his queen. This is one of very few instances in Egyptian art where the statues of the king and his consort have equal size. The hyperstyle hall is supported by pillars, decorated with scenes of Queen Nefertari. The bas-reliefs illustrate the deification of the king, the destruction of his enemies accompanied by his wife, and the queen making offerings to the goddesses. Atha is depicted as a cow on a boat sailing in a thicket of papyri. On the back wall of the rock-cut sanctuary there is a niche in which Atha, as a divine cow, seems to be coming out of the mountain. 